going back to your question about the, what, is, what is basically what is Xi Jinping doing with the common prosperity, right? Going after Jack Ma, Alibaba, Tencent, Didi, beating them up. Capitalism is dead in China. <laughs> Guess, and of course, I know some of my American friends. I get WhatsApp messages from my, what, from my American friends. They're celebrating. Hey, you know, we, we let Google, we let Facebook grow and thrive. China is killing its big tech. China, uh, America is going to win, and by the way, it may happen. Huh? It may happen that America will win, and that uh, America will do much better. The Chinese economic growth story is over. Goodbye. End of chapter. That's the Anglo-Saxon media uh, perception of what's happening in China. But I think there is another view, and the other view is that the Chinese have actually carefully studied what are the dysfunctional aspects of the American economic and political system? And they have decided that these dysfunctional aspects of the American economic and political system are going to hold America back, and China is going to kill those dysfunctional elements. And that's why in my book, uh, Has China Won?, I devote an entire chapter to how the United States has functionally become a plutocracy. A plutocracy, just for your, you want a simple definition, democracy is a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Plutocracy is the government of the 1%, by the 1%, for the 1%. Not just, I don't just say that Paul Volcker, Martin Wolf, Joseph Stiglitz all describe US as a plutocracy. And that's why the bottom 50% in America haven't seen an improvement in the standard of living for three decades. The Chinese have studied this and said, this is not what we want, which is why it's called common prosperity. Common prosperity means the bottom 50% must also benefit. And that way you get a system that is more viable and also potentially economically more competitive. Now, it's not Kishore Mabubani saying this. Uh, one of the biggest experts on China is a gentleman called Li Kai-Fu. He's written a definitive book on artificial intelligence. Uh, he's a major investor in China. You can listen to the Economist, the Economist podcast with Li Kai-Fu, and he'll tell you he's invested in a thousand companies in China. And he said, in the past, when you invested in companies in China, when it started succeeding, Alibaba, Tencent, all the big guys would eat them up. They couldn't grow. He says, now, I have a thousand companies, they can grow. They will not be eaten up anymore by the big uh, uh, elephants in the room. So therefore, Kaifu is actually predicting a more competitive capitalist system one that actually ensures that big tech doesn't dominate the game completely. Now, frankly, who will be proven right? We don't know. Let's wait and see 10 years from now. But I can tell you on the basis of China's performance over the past 30 years, it's safer to overestimate what China may accomplish rather than to underestimate.